Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today's video is going to be about working with a literary manager. I have been writing for so many years and only in this past year did I finally secure representation. So representation, usually it's a manager, agent. Um, for me, I got a literary manager and um, you know, working with him, it's been such a pleasure and you know, I've learned a lot from this whole process and I just want to share a little bit about that uh, with you guys. Well, first of all, I want to talk to you guys about how I actually got my manager. So, you know, for years I have been querying people, um, sending my scripts out to managers, just cold queries. You know, I've used um, pitch fest, I've done pitch um, websites like Stage 32 and Roadmaps. And, you know, for, for me, I found my manager through Stage 32, actually. And, you know, a lot of people look at it as like, oh, well, you know, is it really worth it to pay for a service where you're getting consultation? And the answer is absolutely yes, you know, because you're getting professional feedback. And in my case, it was also a chance for managers to take a look at my work and consider me for representation. I had been doing this for years already, really using it as a litmus test to see if my scripts were ready or not. You know, getting feedback directly from representation, it really helped me to develop my craft of writing. And I knew that it was really just all about the material. You know, if you have the right material, there are avenues out there that can get into the eyes of um, the people who can, you know, represent you. So, for me, I had been pitching to a few different managers already, submitting my scripts. And um, this one manager, my manager right now with House Fire Management, um, you know, he really responded to my writing, but it took a few more samples before he actually really committed to signing me because the way they look at it is like, you know, is your writing, um, is your piece good enough for them to really go out with that particular material? You know, just because you're good, on, good at writing doesn't mean that they can really do anything for you if you don't have um, a script that's ready, sort of market ready. So in my case, um, there was a personal piece of material that I've been working on, um, you know, a crime drama based in the Bay Area during the 90s, you know, had like a lot of personal aspects to it, and um, the manager really responded to that, and, you know, we started developing this script, and now we've been going out with the script, and he's able to get me a bunch of general meetings where I've met a lot of executives, and, you know, there's a lot of projects that I've been talking to. Um, talking about with these executives. So hopefully I'll have more news to share with you guys soon. But like I said, I just started this process, so I'm still learning, still kind of like, you know, navigating my way through the industry. But yeah, that's kind of my story. If you have any questions about that, definitely leave some comments below and um, I'll try to answer them. All right, peace.